be a man or be a lady. So Wednesday today eventually unveiled their new manager, Chisco Munoz. I feel a bit of a fraud saying that in proper accent, do you know what I mean? It makes me feel a bit like I'm doing a bad Mike Tyson impression. Chisco Munoz, he was very tough. So, uh, I'm going to struggle with that. I'm probably going to have to anglicise it. Chisco Munoz, you know what I mean? But no. Chisco Munoz. So we we're all very excited. New manager, season just round the corner, players are already back in training. Everyone's ready for unveiling. He comes out, says right things. Massive club, massive fans. He's been prompted there, hasn't he? And it's all going well. And then, a member of the press asked the chairman a question. And you know, there was that second, I thought, well, he's nailed it. For a second, I thought he'd nailed it. In in first six words he uttered. Uh, a manager to win promotion and then leave a club. This is the unusual situation here. I actually, I already uh, explained on uh, out my statement, right? Perfect. That's all you need to say. I've already explained in my statement. Let's move on. Talk about a new fella. Shut your trap. Nailed it. But then what followed was like a 10 minute, I don't know, it was brutally honest, I'll say that. And it was probably quite box office if you work for the press, but I've got a lump come up on my face. I think it's a stress whelk. We're watching that this afternoon. I could, oh, oh God. I mean, it's all right now because our lass says, oh, put a bit of tea tree on it. You know what I mean? Because that's her answer to everything. Put a bit of tea tree on it. I've got a spot, tea tree, paper cut, bit of tea tree. Bob lost both his legs in Vietnam. Bit of tea tree, you know what I mean? That's an answer to everything. But it was quite a stressful watch because he was very emotional and there were a few times in it, his voice nearly cracked. Uh, and you could tell how much it means to him. And I did feel for him a bit. It was a, it was a nightmare in terms of what to do in a press conference. It was an absolute nightmare. But I did feel for the blog. I genuinely did. Uh, but in terms of having the press there and a way to unveil a new manager it's a nightmare scenario it really is it goes on he's inviting Carlton Palmer to come in for a one on one and talking about damaging him are you serious? deadly serious I've just got visions of me of Trevor Braithwaite at the stage you know sort of wishing he'd got a blow down and, and just could pretend to accidentally cough <clears throat> and I'll tell you another thing <laughs> honestly it was a great performance, a great cadet. I'd got the words of my my departed grand blesser ringing round my ears as I was watching that unfold, and she had a phrase, stop making such a bleeding pippy show. And that's what I got in my head. Oof. And poor Cisco, barely ain't door at club, and he's just sat there like that, looking bewildered. And it went on and on, with about 10 minutes. So you, you little cunt, when I tell you to do something, and you, you fucking big cunt, when I tell you to do something, do it. And if you come back at me, we'll have a fucking right sort out here. All right? And you can pair up if you like, and you can fucking pick someone else to help you, and you can bring your fucking dinner. Because by the time I'm finished with you, you'll fucking need it. Do you fucking hear what I'm saying or not? No, he did. He looked shocked. He looked shocked. He would and it went on, it went on for about 10, 15 minutes. I mean, at one bit, he's like, he's, he's sneakily trying to look at his watch. I didn't go in detail, I didn't go in deep, right? And some fans not happy because you tried to push me to come out to answer. Now, of course, all of this distracted from what should have been a really positive day because we've got a new manager in. A manager with a record of promotion out of this division. A manager who's... Former players speak really highly about him. Said he's a man manager, wants to get involved. And he himself's come in and he's talked about playing front foot football. About the quick transitions and getting men into the box and arriving in the box, which is a phrase I love. Arriving in the box, getting shots away, getting set pieces in there. Should have been such a positive day. And right at the end, we did have a positive because somebody asked a question from the shop floor to the new manager moving moving things on. And rather than just dealing with a question straight away, 
he picked up, not where Chan City left up, but he picked up on what had happened with her. And he said, let's stop focusing on past. And he was saying that to the press as much as he was saying it to Chan City. And I thought that was a fantastic move. Uh, right now, after the president is playing, I think we need change. Uh, new, new era. I don't want to speak nothing about what happened three weeks ago. Now I'm start my era, we start our job, and we need to put the focus, and we need to every fan with us. We are a massive club, we have a massive fans, and we need the positive things. It's important to forget what happened before. It's uh, everybody know what happened or not, doesn't matter. It's for me right now, it's important to start speaking about what we want, what we need, and what we try to give for the future. This is our focus. Is we lose the power for speaking about the different situations. For me, is to put the focus how we can improve our team. I know the championship exactly. Also, I promote United in, uh, in the Premier League. I was in the Premier League. I know exactly what is everything. But we need to work very hard. And this is what we want to start. And uh, with the positive things. Without positive things, doesn't matter what happens. It's, uh, for me, it's okay. We need the players, I need the training ground, I need the fans, because no is easy. No is easy. I like that. I like that. I know it's been a nightmare day in terms of an unveiling, but I think he's brought it round there. We've had a 10 minute monologue, and then he's, rather than just addressing his question, he's just said it right. Let's move on, let's forget about that. Let's move on and look at future. And I'm here to work hard. And it's and it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard work. And then see where he looks round at end. And room's silent. Because he's commanded that respect. I like that. I think that's a very positive start. For him to take control of a situation that, to be honest with you, could have really got out of hand. If there'd been a follow-up question to that, who knows where we'd have ended up. But I like that. He took control. Stuck up for his, his boss a bit. And then he controlled the room. And he talked positively. So that's a really good start. I will do another video just focusing on him. Rather than what has been a barmy day full stop. Although it is Wednesday. Would we expect anything less? No we won't. Uh, so a dramatic unveiling for Chisco Munoz. And his uh, first day at Wednesday. Let's hope he has an easier start to tomorrow. I might watch it again one more time. I mean, it was... I was like that. But it was box office, wasn't it? 